Господи, меня такое запрещу спать. Verse 42. Jesus said, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. That was the most passionate prayer that Jesus prayed. And God ignore. I want to talk to you all this morning. What I titled the cross. Somebody say the cross. Somebody say the cross. Bible said Jesus said, Father, if you are willing, if you like, if you feel like, take away this cross. But it's not by my power. But anything you decide, let your will be done. The most painful and passionate prayer, Jesus prayed, and his father ignored. I want to encourage anyone that hear the sound of my voice, so man abroad today. You feel or you saw your brother is succeeding, you are not succeeding. You felt that God has cheated on you, God has not cheated on you. You are carrying your cross. Your fellow friend bought a car. You are still trekking for over the king of years. And you want to throw up the tower. No. You are carrying the cross. You come to church, people give testimony. You see things going on, and you cannot even do one thing. No, you are carrying the cross. You are in that marriage. The first time you enter that marriage, that beautiful woman you saw, 
that has somebody you saw. You say, I want to spend my life with you. Today, things has gone otherwise. You feel like giving up. No, don't give up. You are enjoying what? The cross. Let me tell you, no matter how far you can pray, no matter how fast God hear you, you cannot pray off the cross. I might talk to somebody here. <laughs> no matter how holy you are, no matter how powerful you are, you can never pray off the cross. You must carry it. Your cross is your last bus stop to your glory. Am I talking to somebody here this morning? No matter the situation you are passing through now, never give up. You are carrying that cross. That is the most painful part. A pastor will lay hand on a member. She will took, she will took in. In the next six months, nine months, she delivered. But pastor wife, you are barren. That is the cross. A pastor will go out and anointing will flow in his church. Anointing is not flowing. That is his cross. You will go outside as a man. Other women will respect you. Other people will respect you. But when you come to your house, your wife will say you are a very foolish man. That is your cross. Somebody say the cross. Yes. Whatever you are going through, that you prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, nothing happened. That is your cross. If you are destined, you cannot pass by your cross. If God has destined that cross for you, you cannot avoid it. The funniest thing about cross is this. You, do, you don't look for cross for you. You don't go after seeking for cross. Cross is going one way to other to look for you. You must carry it. You cannot pray off to carry the cross. Never. You must carry it. The time of cross is the time of question that most of you are carrying today. A place you will ask yourself, God, why have you forgotten me? A place you will ask yourself, why is the whole world torn around me? A place you think that you are paying for the sin you have committed. When Jesus was carrying the cross, there were people that were smoking at him. People thought it was a sin he has committed. A place you feel that everything you are st that someone has speaking against you is coming back to you return. The place of cross a place your prayer will be no, will no longer be answered a place you keep on asking God why 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 is my marriage like this why is my home like this why is my ministry like this why is my business like this why is my life like this am I the only sinner on earth even the, the worst sinner you forgive him you forgive her why is my case like this it is because you are carrying the cross in Matthew 27 46 Jesus cried Lord when he carried the cross when he was slain on the cross he shout Eli Eli Lama Sabatani what did he say my father my father how thou forsake me and the power of the cross. Lord, why did you allow this to be for me? Lord, why did you allow men to mock at me? Lord, why is my business, my life like this? Other people going to sell issues, they make it. I went into 
I acquire problem. Other people go to Lapo and uh, what is it called? They borrowed money and they make headway. I entered, I entered Ibuise. Other people go into selling food. I borrow money and I enter food. It's for people to come out. I and my children eat the food. Why is my life like this? <laughs> you are carrying the cross. You are carrying the cross. Jesus Christ. Eli, Eli! Which means my father, my father! Why is my life like this? But I love what Jesus said. Jesus said, My father, my father, you still remember my father. Even though I am dying, you are still my father. Even though my wife left me, you are still my father. Even though my husband deserted me, you are still my father. Even though my friend, my family has left me, you are still my father. Because of this cross, I will never go back from you. You are still my father. Men may go, but you are still my father. Situation may turn around, you are still my father. Hungry may be in my household, but you are still my father. I may not sell, you are still my father. I may not have favor from men, you are still my father. Eli, Eli, La Sabatani. No matter the situation I am, you are still my father. Friends and family talk their back on me. No, you stood by me. You never let me down. My whole strength fit me. Friends and family talk their back on me. No, you stood by me. You never let me down. He is still your father no matter the situation you go through. Never give up. When you are at the stage of the cross, everything they lack enters you. I might tell somebody here. <laughs> when you are at the stage of the cross, you that is called a son of God, you that is called a, a daughter of God, you will not become a son of man. And a daughter of man. When you are carrying the cross. Because of the cross. That hit him. A thorn of Cain. The Bible says it entered. And pierced him. That is why today. In anything you do pains. That is why today. People will talk on you. It will pain you. Your husband, your wife will talk so much bad about you. It will pain you. Your fellow church member will not use eye to see you. It will pain you. Whatever they do then, it enters you. Any came, they flog you. It enters you to your marrow. The place of the cross. When they gossip about you, it enters you. It's the place of the cross. A place of cross is where heaven is taking his examination. No prayer you pray at that time. That will be answered. God will be quiet. You will knock. The door will not be open. You will ask. Nobody will give. The time of the cross. The time of the cross. If you are not careful, that the time you start misbehaving. Like some of our pastors today, throwing in the towel. Some of the workers leaving the church. Because of some churches today, very empty. Well, my pastor was telling me so there you go. Last week or last two weeks. He said, nobody comes to church again at all. I said, this is the time of the cross. The time you can use 10,000 to go to market to buy everything. I mean everything. 
Now take 10,000 to market. You buy one thing. Even that one thing say will not be completed. Time of the cross. The time you hope for your brother out there, you hope for your sister out there, what you gain is return in disappointment. The time of the cross. Anytime this is going up and down your life, it's time of the cross. Never turn back. God has never turned back on Jesus one second. But God was what? Quiet. Examine him. Looking at him. Like today, God is quiet looking at us. The, oh, my son. Oh, my daughter. At times, we'll tell you how far. Even when you are carrying the cross. <laughs> Have you ever prayed to the situation by when somebody, when something is against you and you are innocent? Am I talking to somebody here? You are innocent. And somebody lied on you, heavy lie. And you pray, Lord. Prove yourself. I am your daughter. No, kill her. I am your daughter. God said, hey, 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 hey. Carry on. I will not prove myself. It is your cross. I tell you, see some lie like this. You say, hey, where? And you say, Lord, if you know you called me, open heaven. Let fire descend. God will say, from where? Carry on. It's your cross. You will open another book. You will see several things. You will say, me? This thing they are saying, is it true? Lord! Let there be an explosion. God will say, from where? No explosion, no. It is a what? It is a cross. Carry on. Lord, if you know, say, this man is my husband. Wherever he is, let it call me now. God will say, from where? Who's your husband? Now your cross. It's a time that God will keep silent. The heaven is taking quiet examination. Time of the cross. The time of the cross is not time that you pray or people gather to pray for you. Prayer no longer answered. On the cross. What my pastor said, he, he went to mountain, he spent 14 days Say God did not speak. No, this could not speak. Myself, I will not speak. That shared God. Or not to him. It's time of the cross. Before you enter that marriage, listen. Do you know what surprised Jesus most? When Jesus was about to start his ministry. The Bible said immediately he was baptized by John the Baptist. Immediately he was baptized. There was a loud voice from heaven. Okay? And said, This is my home, beloved son, whom I'm well pleased. Jesus was disappointed. He was still expecting the same voice when he was on the cross. That for him to say, Yes, this is my beloved son. Whom? That's why he shouted. My father, my father, why have thou forsaken me? Eli, Eli, Laba Satani, why did you forsake me? God never forsake him. God was only taking record. When you are carrying the cross, God keeps silent from you. He allowed that cross you are carrying. Let me tell you, that cross cannot kill you. He will only allow that cross to be heavy on you. He will allow that cross to weigh you down. He will allow people to mock at you. He will allow people to say, what kind of God do you say you deserve? He will allow people to say, are you sure you are called? Are you sure your husband is good? Are you sure that is the right man for you? Are you sure that is the right man for you? No! It's the right man, it's the right woman. It's the right place. But you are carrying your cross. You don't go through certain level in life if God is not with you. 
anytime you are fighting, God keep quiet. But anytime you keep quiet, God fight. Am I telling somebody here? That's what I told my pastor on, Monday, on Tuesday when I get home. I said, should I tell you my secret? Not everybody. And you see God will start fighting. But the moment you start, hey, oh yeah, let's do, hey, 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 ah, ah. God will say, oh yeah, carry it now. They, they, they fight, fight, quarter, quarter, oh yeah. Settle, settle, you have the strength. Anytime you are still, God take the battle from you. I might tell somebody here. There is a most time when things are happening, you begin to pray evil prayer. Even the person you are praying evil prayer against, God is lifting that person up. I might tell somebody here. You pray, ah, Lord, this person don't do me bad. I want kill her, kill her. God will say from here. As you open your eyes from killing, the person don't enter a new level. Ah, Lord, this person is evil. Lord, destroy this person. Lord, forsake this person. That was okay. Do. You are righteous. This person is evil. Oh, yeah. The next one. Next level. Because you want to fight alone. But when you carry the cross, what God is expecting you to say then, like Jesus, Lord, let your will be done. Lord, let your will be done. You don't fight. You don't use everything by your power. God knows everything you are going through. When you are carrying the cross, remember, Jesus was whipped. He was stripped naked. You will be stripped naked. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are carrying the cross, as a time you will pray and pray and pray and pray. No money for hand strength. That Lord will come and knock. Hello? Your hand strength is due. I have given you six months to pay. And you cannot pay. Please come outside. Time of the cross. Time of the cross, your wife will talk rubbish about you. Your husband will talk rubbish about you. Your church member is the best. They will pieces you like Jingo. Scatter you like Jingo. Your co-worker, oh, powerful. Everything about you then will be useless. Time of the cross. Time of the cross is where people will see you, they will begin to see the devil inside of you. They will look at you, this one you are a devil, this one you are a devil, this one you are a devil, this one you are a devil. Only them are righteous. Time of the cross. If hell want to stand for anyone, if hell want to unnast anybody, listen to me. If hell want to stand and announce you it was her that announced Jesus it was her but that was the last place he went to as he was coming from the hair he was carrying the key that we are announcing so anytime you are carrying a cross the hell is responsible if hell want to announce you if hell want to make people to know you if hell want money to come to your hand he will fight you I was sharing on social media yesterday. If money wants to bless you tomorrow, it will suffer you today. If you want to be a nurse tomorrow, you must suffer today. No matter your prayer, at the cross, heaven does not respond. No matter your prayer, on the cross, things start manipulating anyhow. No matter your prayers on the cross, satanic oppression reigns. No matter your prayers on the cross, heaven close while men reign over you. Heaven close. Heaven shut down. Because of the cross. When you are carrying the cross, 
Your call shop neighbor will envy you for no reason. When you carry the cross. When you carry the cross, people that is not your brother, not your friend, will even come to you and tell them don't buy anything for this man or for this woman. You are carrying the cross. When you are carrying the cross, you will lose stupidity in the eyes of men. Look at Jesus. A man of honor. A man of dignity. A man that crowd run after. But because of the cross, everybody deserted him. Because of the cross, people gave him name. Bible said, man was spitting on him. They spat on him. Fly! Oh, no, she. A person will be. Fly! Useless man. But that is the man they praised yesterday. The man that decree and something happened. The man they run after for a miracle. Because of the cross. I don't know the cross you are carrying this morning. I don't know the area you are carrying that cross. It may be your marriage. It may be your business. It may be your relationship. It may be whatever God has given to you. But I came to prophesy that after that cross, God will announce you. I said, God will announce you. I said, God will announce you. I said, after that cross, God is coming to announce you. In the name of Jesus. After cross, there is testimony. After cross, there is liberty. After cross, there is a good announcement. Don't give up while you are carrying a cross. Don't give up while you are carrying a cross. Even at time, people may come and help you. They won't help you to the end. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are carrying the cross, so we come with an advice. That advice will not long last. When you are carrying cross, when things are going up and down, when you are carrying cross, people gather together to, to hear from you. It's not all that I hear from you are going to help you. They want to hear from you to go and announce it. They are coming to hear from you to go and say negative things about you. When you are carrying the cross. People will come around, mommy, what is wrong with you? I don't like the way you are looking. He said, ah, my mommy, my daddy, why I'm looking like this? Because of this, this, this. So when they say it is well, why others will go out and say, ah, how does they touch her? He's seen that they catch him. Is it that? You are carrying the cross. When you are carrying the cross, people hate you for no reason. Everything you say, then make meanings to them. Am I talking to somebody here? You are carrying the cross. When you are carrying your cross, all your advice looks stupid to people's ear. Advice. That's when Jesus was carrying the cross. The Bible said it was a group of women that gathered together. They were crying. <laughs> Jesus looked into their life that their cry was not real. And Jesus said, stop crying for me. This cry you are crying, now cry for your children. And for your unborn children, you are going to born tomorrow. I am carrying my cross. Your own sons and daughters will also carry their cross. My cross is different from their cross. So don't cry over me. Cry for your children. Pray for your children. So that when time of them to carry their cross, they will carry it well. Me, I am carrying my own very, very well. This is my cross. Jesus never threw away his cross and ran away. He carried it to the end. But many people want to quit their cross. Many people have quit their cross. Time of cross, people speak nonsense. Time of cross. Time of cross. Time of cross. Last two weeks, Thursday, the one that came to my office was saying something that I, I feel like slapping her. My old member, I knew when they marry you, 
I knew when things were going well with you. Now that things is bad, you managed to get my number. I said that day, I want to quit the marriage. Marriage not for me. They mad. When that man bought you, as a day, hundred thousand, one fifty, uh, where the gown, he didn't like this. With your butterfly, uh, where's it? Eyelashes. He didn't like this. Even when they put the ring, he didn't like this. Where's that hole? They, 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 they do shaky, shaky. They shoot shaky, shaky. The man did not allow you to sleep home. He take you to hotel. You load the hotel for three days for honeymoon. Things were moving well. After coming from hotel, your former room was room Apollo. He take you straight to three bedroom flat. You don't want to quit for just three years. But you have you have enjoyed for over eight years. For three years, you are carrying cross. You want to quit? I allow her to talk, talk, talk. After I talk, I say, Bia, sit down. Hey, your wedding ring, where they can go, can I come? Is it, eh? I say, okay, I want to do the wedding again now. We will gather everybody, say, this married, as a then a mistake. Now, now, we want to do real wedding. Time of the cross. I said, that three bedroom flat. You are living all the time. You come to church, then my husband, but uh, 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 what, what did you mean? What they call us by that time? Uh, opium. I want to thank God on behalf of my opium because God has really blessed him. If not him, I will not be here. If not him, I don't know where I'll be. If not him, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You forget all those testimonies. Time of the cross. And I said, if you have told me then that this opium that bought everything, bought your under a month, do everything, that this opium is not the opium you wanted to marry. When you are carrying the cross, you will feel pain. Somebody said, you will feel pains. Somebody said, you will feel pains. But after that pain, there is a blessing. How many of us can stay to carry the cross? Jesus stayed. Bible says, at the beginning, he was carrying the cross. He was running. He was running. Little time. <laughs> Power can't go down. At times, he carried the fell down. He was still beaten to carry the cross. He carried it. He was still moving. Moving. He fell down. A man came to come and help him. The man not can't reach yet to yet. But the cross was too heavy. The cross was not meant for him. If the cross were meant for him, he would carry it. But because the cross was meant for Jesus, it was too heavy for him. He dropped his cross. I don't try you. <laughs> I think I could help you, but <laughs> as a been, uh, <laughs> he passed my power. Or when he carried all by himself. And by himself, Jesus carried it again. He was walking. The cross. How many of us can carry the cross? How many can stand the test of the cross? How many of us can say, Lord, with this situation, you are still my God. Lord, with this condition, you are still my God. Lord, with this crisis, you are still my God. Lord, I will stand to defend whom you are. How many? How many we stand to defend who God is? Many people will not stand to defend. Rather, they will stand to destroy. If the disciples of Jesus ran away, Bible said they're too late. Everybody take off. Eh? When Jesus, when Judah betrayed Jesus, do you know he not paid Jesus at all? Do you know why? Because he knows Judah will betray him. But when Peter denied him, he paid now. Bible said he turned back. He was you are. But I told you that I'm going to carry a cross. Ah, you. Bible said he turned back. He looked at Peter. Ah! The cross. 
the cross. A minute later, the Bible said the Philistines met Peter. Peter, you are a servant to that man that will just that say no, that was for you. <laughs> Anytime they pass, I go follow the crowds. All of us are a multitude. They follow. John and all of them, they hide. They take off. Nobody can carry the cross. But only those that God have assigned to carry the cross can carry it. Somebody stand off it. Decree, Lord. Your cross that I am carrying will not weigh me down. Your cross, Lord, will not weigh me down. I will not die. I will not die. Lord, encourage me. Encourage my business. Encourage my husband. Encourage my wife. Jesus, help me to carry my cross to the end. The cross of my marriage. The cross of my business. The cross of my ministry. The cross, Lord, help me open your mouth in the name of Jesus. The key, Lord, help me to carry the cross. Lord, help me to carry the cross. Lord, help me to carry the cross. Help me to carry the cross. The man of the cross before your life. Lord, help me to carry the cross. Somebody decree. 